revelations have emerged following an investigation into the Ariane Benevolent Home in Chatsworth. The probe uncovered allegations of child abuse and maladministration at the facility, raising concerns about the safety and welfare of vulnerable children under its care. Authorities are now calling for urgent action to address these disturbing findings and to ensure accountability. To speak to us now on this matter, let's now welcome KZN Social Development, MEC Mbali Shinga. MEC, a very good afternoon to you. Of course, we come um, under tragic circumstances. Just talk to us about just some of the findings that have been found here. Uh, good afternoon and uh, thank you for having us. Uh, uh, back in July, there was a story in the media that, that came out of the issues there by the ABH Centre in Guazulu Natal. We therefore um, uh, requested our head of department to, go, to do the investigation. But amongst uh, issues that came out, it was confirmed by the children uh, themselves, the, the issue of physical abuse that they were using, corporal punishment uh, to punish the children. So those that were punished came out and told us, and those that witnessed others being punished. That's the issue that uh, uh, came out. But other issues of compliance, because they are a child and youth care center, um, we found out that they were not checking their their workers, employees uh, against the sexual offenses uh, register, which is a, a a prerequisite when you work in in that in that area. And also the issue of uh, food, children are starving. They they eat uh, or there is no compliance with the the menu that we provide for each and every child care and youth, and, and youth centre. So that was really a concern for us and emotional abuse for children because they are constantly reminded of their situation that they should be grateful for what uh, they are receiving at least. When these, you know, reports came out, you know, you, you were criticised, MEC, for, for saying that some of these allegations are blown out of proportion. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, it now has, of course, been, you know, uh, confirmed by this probe and, and, and this allegation that, in fact, um, even after you spoke to the children, um, the various officials, that, in fact, these children were being abused. I mean, just in terms of oversight from your department specifically, what went wrong? Uh, indeed, we were highly uh, criticised. That's why when these issues come out, you must not be emotional uh, about them. But this report does not le really leave out our own uh, department in terms of uh, monitoring and, and evaluation, especially the Teguini district where the, the site is, is based. But there is even today in presentation, of the report because we presented the report to the board um, of management you know the there the, is that uh, you know uh, to be uh, defensive but uh, uh, here we are the report is presented with uh, pictures the evidence of the pictures that we, we took and interviews that we we conducted we are really concerned but we are coming close to the in institution we draw up a plan they must also draw up a plan on how they are going to um, achieve compliance in these issues now of course we know that some of those perpetrators that did these heinous things to to young children i mean some of them of course uh, you mentioned the, the sexual um you know allegations as well as just the, the physical abuse um to children who are you know very much compromised uh, from from the beginning which is why they sought shelter there to begin with what what hap what happens to these perpetrators now um you know because i'm calling them that because these are criminal offenses um, indeed, um, there are cases opened with uh, SAPS. Uh, there, there are no cases of sexual abuse, but I am saying if you work with as a child minder or with the children institution, you must be checked yeah. um, against the sexual offences register if your name does not appear there. 
So this institution was not doing that. They just uh, employed people. But there is a ca- two cases with SAPS and then further investigations going on. Others have been suspended. Others were suspended when we when I pronounced that we're going to do the investigation, which then tells us maybe the institution already knew about these uh, allegations. But they are serious uh, matters, but we request our communities in all corners of KwaZulu-Natal, if they witness or come across such issues, to report them to the department, because uh, we, we will not think twice to to act and uh, find out the, the truth in the matter. What are the le- lessons learned here in, in as far as this particular matter is concerned? Because we know, of course, uh, MEC, that this is not an isolated case. It's not even an isolated case in KwaZulu-Natal. Uh, uh, correct. It's not an isolated case. The lessons that we're really taking as the as a department uh, is that it's important to work with our own tools because our own tools of monitoring and evaluation. I did say on the day, on the 1st of July, when I went to the institution, which is somehow, somewhere, these issues should have been picked up by someone, somewhere along the way, instead of having children being abused for this time and issues coming out to the media. So we need to stick to our monitoring and evaluation tools so that when we visit institutions, we are focused on the tool because the tool itself will give us uh, the desired uh, outcome. But also these uh, facilities like ABH, we have um, uh, an agreement uh, with them of working because we support them with funding. So uh, in our ongoing uh, meetings and uh, uh, supporting meetings, they and reports, it's important that we talk about openly about these issues and they need to be honest too if they are to work in this space. We will, of course, just uh, follow up with the SAPS in terms of these arrests because we know since July already a case was opened against some of uh, these uh, caregivers or, or purported uh, caregivers in this case. But ABH at the time also had indicated they get a lot of their support from foreign donors. Now, in terms of just the way in which you coordinate and in light of this report now, how will you go and work going forward? And and I mean, in, in as far as ABH is concerned, just as an example, um, setting an example by you as a department, how then do you then begin your investigations in as far as how do we continue to work with, with um, you know, uh, organizations such as ABH who also do get uh, monetary funding from uh, foreign donors who also have their own tools that they're probably using before they even fund, start funding some of these organizations? <laughs> Um, that what you are raising is very important now because the first day when I went there, ABH was concerned more about their major donors uh, overseas and wherever nationally. Not even a single day where they've raised a concern about the children that they are looking after, that they are housing there. Even today, that matter came out at play. Uh, they, they told me that they are concerned about the, the, uh, their reputation and losing funding. But they, don't, they are not talking about the well-being of, of uh, the children. So they've got the report now. It is up to them what they are going to do with the report. But the Department of Social Development in Wazulu Natal funds them 4,000 rand per child per month. We do not expect a child to eat uh, bread three times a day with doll soup and a spoon of spinach. It is unacceptable. It, it is non nutritious. They need to adhere to the menu provided to them by the department. Let me see. Thank you so much for your time. Let's leave it there for now. Mbali Shinga, of course, uh, a lot going on in this particular story. Also, that police investigation that we need to be following up on. But essentially, revelations there emerging following an investigation into this uh, um, ABH home in Chatsworth. The probe uncovered allegations of child abuse, maladministration at the facility, of course, raising alarms um, in as far as other organizations in KwaZulu-Natal as well. But that was of course the MEC Mbali Shinga.